Are you ready for a soul-searching journey into the heart? The true tale, a deep story of true love and finding one true romance? Well, I certainly am. And totally not because someone by the name of Kaniskai sent me this game and told me to play it. If you too were ready to find your true love and just bask in the glory of true greatness, then welcome! I welcome you all to Random Play! boy <laughs> That hurts me to say. I I can't really say much about this, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it, pretty much anything that you want to know is just uh, right here. It's a, it's a dating game, visual novel. It's a story of love and, and friendship, and it's just look, look at, look at that. Look, just yes, that. That is a face that one can truly admire. So it's a dating game. It's a visual novel, and it's uh. It's also published, apparently. The remake is published by Devolver Digital. Did not know that till five minutes ago. Hold on. I think it's time we start a new game. All right. St. Pigeon Nations Institute. Welcome to St. Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. All right. What shall be a strapping name? Let's see. We want something powerful. We want a, a powerful leading man name like John or James or Jack or Logan or something really cool. Oh, 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 oh I know one. Cecil. Cecil's such a strong name. Last name. Hmm. What is the last name that, that's leading man quality? You know, like how James has Bond and then John has Smith. Here's something I know. Let's see. Kumquat. Perfect. I am Cecil Kumquat. Yes, Cecil Sum Kumquat is perfectly okay. Hatable Boyfriends includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Yes, I would, yes. Configuration saved. So uh, this is a dating visual novel that is based around um, the theme of pigeons. Let's just say there's a lot of people here that like pigeons. Oh, oh, excuse me. I should be doing my duties and telling you this great tale of romance. <clears throat> Saint Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curriculum and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I don't know what your ordinary life was, but I'm very curious how you came to this conclusion to walk here. I should probably say that this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's. No. The world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be... It's gonna be a long time. This is gonna be a long day. Oh, boy. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeon Nations. Well, then. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of... Birds? Of different backgrounds? And species? Just, you know, we want to make sure that our teaching staff is completely multicultural. Hmm, I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. Very good question! Yes, you are not a bird. Alright. It's a long story. But I won't tell it to you anyway. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. <laughs> oh my god! Ryota! Usually you would have been ready for it by an hour by now, Cecil. Overslept? Oh dear lord. 
And this is what Ryan- Okay! Look at- look at that man! Look at the red eyes! Those red eyes of- Does his eyes match his feathers? So well! This rock dove is named- Oh dear lord. Ka- Kawara Ryota. Alright. Alright, I should probably preference- Preface before time. I'm bad at names. Specifically Japanese names. Last time, I'm not sure if people watched that, but last time I recorded and or streamed Persona 4, I called Chie Chai. I'm bad at names, so forgive me ahead of time if I call people the horrible names. Alright, let's see. Anyway. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Well then. We grew, we grew up together, I'm sure. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Well then, I'm sure you'll get plenty of that, Cecil. I know how you like the red meat inside you. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. See, he is responsible and kind. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. I'm just gonna take you and I'm gonna dip you in a little bit of flour and egg and throw you into the skillet and some hot peanut oil and it's gonna be fantastic. A little bit of seasonings. It's, it's just a great, yes. Alright. Okay. Oh, the bell already? Come on! We need to hurry to class! Jeepers! No good being late on the first day! And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Huh. I better not tell my friends last year I went on a duck hunt. Oh, and it, okay, now we're inside the school. Heartful boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy for the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. With the exception of the one human guy that decided to attend school for birds. Well then. I think we're in 2-3, Ryota. Oh, Ryota and I are in the same class. Okay. Uh, I think we're in 2-3. Ryota, old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's the formation of many, many happy memories. Meanwhile, there's just like one turtle dove in the back going, HUMAN SCATTER! Okay. Oh, the teacher's here! <laughs> what? Why am I? Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazukai. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and also some. All right. I think we just found uh, this guy's totally William Shatner. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. <laughs> other things. Dot 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 Z Z Z dot Sir, wake up! It's homeroom! He sleeps with his eyes open? What the fuck? Alright. Oh my, look at him. He's just a great He's a hottie, isn't he? This quail is Nanaki Kazukai. He's famous Okay, Superic, Sup, 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 That's not a word you see quite often. Okay, I forgot how to say that. He's a famously math professor. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. You know, I don't even, I don't even have to do commentary on this. I think I can just go through this just fine with just normal narration of everything anyone says.